Have you ever wanted to learn how to use a DSLR camera? Maybe you already know how to use the automatic modes, but you want to learn how to adjust it manually. If so, this video is for you. We'll be using the Canon T3i to teach you how to have better camera control and capture quality images. The DSLR, also known as Digital Single Lens Reflex Camera, is much more customizable than point-and-shoot cameras that many people use. You can attach different lenses for different looks and also apply effects to your image. First, we'll be adjusting the camera's aperture and ISO. When taking a picture, you're capturing light reflected from your subject. The more light you let in, the brighter the image. The camera's aperture is measured in f-stops. The smaller the aperture, or the higher the f-stop number, the less light is captured by the lens. The larger the aperture, the more light is captured by the lens. The ISO also affects how much light is captured. The higher your ISO number, the higher the image sensor's sensitivity to light. In other words, the brighter your picture becomes. Second, we'll be adjusting shutter speed. A camera's shutter speed can affect both the sharpness and brightness of your photos. The faster your shutter speed, the less motion blur occurs and the less light is captured. The slower your shutter speed, the more motion blur you may get and the more light is captured. I recommend using a shutter speed of 1 200th of a second or faster. However, you can achieve some really cool effects if you slow down your shutter speed dramatically. This is known as long exposure photography. A great example of this is light painting. When your shutter speed is this slow, your camera will be extra sensitive to light. To take advantage of this and the motion blur, try standing in front of the camera and drawing pictures with the flashlight. If you moved enough while the picture was taken, the only thing you'll be able to see is your light painting. Our final topic today is depth of field. When you take a photo, you want your subject to be in focus. How do you get a better focal range, you may ask? The depth of field is the range on your photo's z-axis in which everything is in focus. If your subject is up close and focused, everything in his or her immediate area will look sharp, and everything behind him or her will look blurry. The larger your aperture, or the lower your f-stop, the shallower your depth of field will look. The closer your focusing distance, the shallower your depth of field will look. The longer your lens's focal length, the shallower your depth of field will look. Many photographers like to use a shallow depth of field, especially when taking portraits. This technique highlights the subject by blurring the background, but it's all your personal preference. Have fun, remember these tips, get some good angles, and happy shooting.